Next up on my travels, I make my way from Sendai all the way to the next prefecture of Fukushima. There's quite a few things to see here. So I've just arrived in my Fukushima hotel. Now I've just arrived in Fukushima city and I have two main objectives today. The first I've just been in and you're just about to see. It's a traditional Japanese building that there was nobody there but me. So if you want to experience one of these in your free time and just get lost. My first stop was just an old style Japanese house that was free to wander around. So why not, right? And now that we've done that, if you've watched my channel, you know I like long walks to go and do things. So we've got a 51 minute walk straight forward, more or less, to get to an observatory and get to have a real look over the entire city. And I think we're just in time for sunset, hopefully. Hello. View of a Geiger counter. <sighs> now, as I stand over the sunset and watch, I'm realizing I haven't been around someone like this exactly at sunset before. I've just been watching, and suddenly all the lights of the city flicker onward. Because I'm out of the car, I'm going to head down before it gets too dark for safety. But it's nice to see the in between. My camera can't do this justice. You can't even see the snow on top of the mountains back there and all the colours of the sky. It's just a kind of vague gloop of colour. And we have scaled down the mountain, and the sun is just going to disappear completely very soon. Which means a little bit of nighttime exploration of the city, some food, and then a bath before tomorrow. And this was actually a pretty good price. This was the cheapest available, and it's a twin room, which means I've got four pillows to myself. Good God. There's a nice little desk space, a dedicated desk by itself, and a separate set of drawers. The fridge is actually a little further away, which is kind of nice. I've got a whole ass closet space, and the bathroom is... Well, standard. Dedicated tap, somewhat abnormal, a nice big bath, to be honest. A shower that's hopefully better than the last place I was at. And we are on the 11th floor. So do we have a view? Oh, we kind of do. It's a city and we've got some mountains in the background. And over here, more mountains. That ain't bad. And once more, we have the rare art piece on the wall. One day later, and I'm heading to the top rated thing in Fukushima again, a lovely old flower park. I'm not sure how many flowers are going to be this time of year, but it's a nice walk. It's a massive mountain there behind Fukushima, but the structures all along the horizon. It's just all snowy mountains. And it's so easy to miss, but once you notice it, yeah. doesn't look like the way. Gotta love it when Google just says, yeah, just go into this person's back garden. That's the way you need to go. And this isn't it either. Google truly has scuppered me today. Well, Google's led me well and truly astray. If you're trying to find this flower park, 
don't trust Google, but I have just stumbled upon this cherry blossom or plum tree. I'm not sure which one. I think probably a plum tree that just stood out in the distance as I was walking. And it's the first I've seen of that. So the journey isn't for naught. And I finally found it, not by Google's directions, but by going on Google to find the car park. And then we can find it from there. Lovely, let's go. While on Google, this salt itself is just a park with actually like a mountain trail with a view of the city. Very cool. This path is meticulously maintained because there were multiple people cutting it along the way that I had to wait for. But I don't know if we've reached the top because there's a little more to go. But we certainly reached one hell of a view. You can see the big towering main city of Fukushima in the distance, the river you cross. Things are a bit lower, that's why we've walked through to get here. The mountains in the background. What a lovely spot. I can roughly see in the distance where I was heading to. That's the observation point I was trying to get to. But there's no path on that side to it that I can even vaguely make out. So I'm glad I found the right way in the end. And as we get to our path down, it's blocked off for some reason. Today, not good. So we go back the way we came. On my way back down, there was some English speaking Japanese people. We had a little chat with a little bit of Japanese, mostly English. So it was nice to have a nice little chat at a random place that I happened to have gone to. To get handed a Jehovah's Witnesses card at the end of it. Other than that. And to end my trip in Fukushima, I sat and watched the sunset in my room. I put the camera up and just did a little time lapse to see all the time go by as the mountains slowly turn to dusk and then the reflection hides the view from my window on camera. But it was a lovely night. Next up, Aizu Wakamatsu.